Okay, so one more problem. And then after that, I'll open the floor to... Yeah, I think if we had kept pushing the B equals 2 case, we would have... If we, like, wrote out the entire state tree for, say, N equals 5, B equals 2, I think we would have seen the idea to take every other bit. Or and also the fact that it's just, like, second player always wins. Like, there's a natural grading. You'll, you would have gotten a grading on the set of configurations where something was happening mod 2. Okay, one more problem. All right, so this one's another enumeration of something. You want sequences of zeros and ones such that the number of things in each block goes up. <laughs> I don't know if I call this an FE. <laughs> I really don't. I don't think this qualifies as FE. Oh, shoot. All right. I'm going to save a copy of this image so I can look at it later. OK, I can clear everything now. Okay, so yeah, the condition is really, really strong. So let's see what's going on. So I have, so to start things off, A1, A2, A3, uh, let, let me just do N equals three for concreteness so I don't treat up over myself, but I, I imagine the small case won't matter very much. So right away I have like, you, you can see it's interested in blocks of N and the number of bits is supposed to go up. Um, so if I just take 0, n, n, 2n, and so on, um, you already see the number of bits here has to be 0. There has to be exactly a single one here, 2, and then all of these have to be 1. So whoop de do. That's, that's a great start. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, uh, no, nah. Yeah, this, this condition is very strong. 1, 1, 1. Uh, okay, I guess it's so zoomed out you guys can't see anything, so let's fix that. Yeah, so kind of right away... Um, yeah, right, right away it's just like, okay, well, I guess that happened. Um, there's always n blocks of offset things, right? Yeah. So, yeah, someone's saying that they think the... Honestly, I should have done n equals 4. I think n equals 3 is a little too small, but that's fine. It's possible there's only one sequence. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, so anyways, a4 must be 0 because otherwise what happens? Um... A5, A6, A7. Oh, okay. So the next thing we do is we look at um, we look at this group and we look at this group. And the claim is that I can't have a 1 here because if so, I have 0, 0 here and this has to be 1. So if I do that, that gives me an argument now that um, this one has to be 0. Okay, I wonder if I can keep... I don't think I can pu keep pushing that, but as I shot. Similarly, I guess if I do the same argument from the other end, this one has to be a 1. Yeah, so again here, all my drawings, etc. are for n equals 3 because concreteness is good. Like when you're experimenting, I think it's usually better to not do things in terms of n and actually do like n equals 3 or n equals 4 if it's not too expensive because it's just much easier to see stuff when I can actually see everything. You don't need the abstraction this way. Okay, so 
people are hoping that the only way is if I put a... Uh, people are hoping the other ones are here and here. Um, so let's see what goes wrong if I try to break that. So what if I had put a 1 here? Then this one must be 0. And then this one has to be 1 and 1 because this block and that block. Okay, so yeah, that looks like it's a unique one for n equals 3. And unfortunately, in this case, I think the n equals 3 actually is too small. 1 and then... Uh, this is bad because then this one is equal to that one. So... Yeah, so for n equals 3, OK, so that's good, except unfortunately, I think this case was actually so small that we didn't. Um, we, got, we got some good information to start, but um, the general case will probably require us to do a little more work. So let's go and try n equals. I want to jump all the way to like n equals 5 pick some bigger, bigger numbers. That way I don't run into like tininess issues again. So for n equals 5, I should be drawing um, five, uh, 4 dividers. Is that right? 0, 1, 2, no. Oh, jeez. Drawing is hard. OK, and I know the counts that I want are 0, 1, 2. Honestly, I don't really need to draw the last one, but I'll do it anyways. And then we know that this one is five zeros, this one is five ones, and then the rest of the counts are given to us. OK, so I want to see if I can kind of get the same arguments I did earlier to work. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by considering this block. So again, what happens if I put a 1 here? Then I look at this block. This is all zeros, and this is this is at most one. So that's not good. So by the same argument, I can say this first bit must be a zero. And by doing the same thing here, the last bit here has to be a one. Five consecutive zeros. <laughs> oh, I wonder where that problem is from. Uh, So I want to try to push this, and let's let's do it again. Um, let's look at this chunk. Oh, let me use a different color so I can differentiate them easily. Let's look at that chunk, and let's say, what if this is a 1? I claim something bad happens. Because what will happen is then this guy, this has to be all zeros, and now I have two ones here, and now this one is supposed to have three ones, which is not good. So. That breaks, and by that logic, we can get that this first thing, this has to be 0 as well. And I think if we repeat the same argument, so I then look at like this block, or if you want to expedite things, you can just say look at the first one. That will, that's probably easier to think about. But I think that will prove very quickly that the first one has to be here. And by the same logic, um, let me use a different color, actually. These are all deductions. 0, 0, 0, 1. And then similarly, this one has to be 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So I'm doing it both back and forth, but I suspect I probably won't even need the back and forth. I think probably um, just the forward one will go. When you finish doing every ISO problem from 2000 to 2019, will you write them up? Ah. Oh. Uh, that's a very, very big if. <laughs> like, the short answer is, I don't think that will happen. But if it, if I really do write up every problem from ISO 2000 to 2019, um, I'll post them. But I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Anyways, this argument's been working really well. So let's keep doing it. Mm. So let's again look at here. And what if this is 0? Well, then we know there's at most... Hmm. Oh, it's not as good. Sorry, what if this is a 1? That's what I meant to say. If this is a 1, 
Then we know there's at most a single one here. And so there must be a one here. And at this point, I'm starting to run into the other thing. But um, you know what? I'm going to erase the backwards stuff because it's actually making it's making the number five too small. So forget all the backwards stuff. It's actually making it harder for me to think. So again, you do this, and then you're like, OK, there's at most. Um, oh yeah, this is just, this already died. Okay, good, good, good. So so this one should be a zero. And again, suppose this one is suppose the next bit is a one. If I have a one here, I look here, then I look here. So there's at most a single one here. So both of these have to be ones. So then there's at most a single one. Oh, I thought I erased all of those. Go away backwards, guys. Then I look at the next guys, and then there's at most a single one here, and then there's only two spaces here, so now you run into a problem. And then this will go, this will again sort of just, I think, go all the way. So I think in this way, you find out this has to be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay, and now you can kind of see where this pattern is going. If you go by induction on each of the blocks, you go by induction on the blocks to get the blocks from left to right one by one, and then you also, within each block, you can kind of do an induction. And that should just do it. Yeah, you look at the first mismatch, and then you count the ones, and you get a break. And so this is the kind of problem that I... This is the kind of problem that I'm like personally the best at doing. It's like you take a very specific thing, you figure out why it doesn't work for say n equals three or n equals five. And as long as you, if you keep your eye on the general situation, then you can kind of just end up, it's almost like the problem tells you how to do it. You do the small cases, you get feedback, and then you say, okay, like how do I just, you know, what's happening in general? And then you just extrapolate. Yeah, this would be a fantastic question for the rigid unit. Watch out, the skiers will crash into you. Uh, they're a little bit behind me. I think I'll be okay. All right. So um, maybe it doesn't really make sense for me to try to write out the details in the stream because it'll just overwhelm the screen. But at this point, I can take any questions. Am I blocking the slope? No, no, no. The camera's just way ahead of the slope. Um, like they're, they're way behind me. Yeah. Like, I th I'm very convinced that this should work, and that uh, we could write it out if we wanted to. Um, yeah. Yeah, engineer's induction is just really useful for solving the problem. Like, even though we all laugh at it because it's not a proof, like, if you can figure out the pattern, then that's, uh, like, 90% of the work. I can't hear the pretzel songs. Oh, uh, I turned the, the volume down very low because I was worried it would overwhelm my voice, but I can make it a little louder. Really? Oh, people couldn't hear it at all. That's actually not great. I guess the song right now is especially quiet though, so shrug. All right, so that's it. In, we got three shortest problems in 72 minutes. About 10 of which were me. I really just need to... I think for the geometry, I'm going to actually use GeoGebra next time. I, I said this last time, and then I was like, oh, I really, it's kind of cheating. But it's just drawing it on the iPad takes so long and is so confusing that... It'll, it'll make me look a little smarter, which is fine. He's like, wow, GeoGebra OP. Um, uh, the geo that we did, I'll scroll up so you can see it, it was 2007 G2. Okay, so that concludes the mathematical discussion for today.
or the problem discussion, short this discussion anyways. And as promised, I'll now open up the floor to arbitrary questions. Uh, once I save this. Alright.